Brooklyn Barricade Rides videos for motorcycle enthusiasts. Got a great video for you today. Got a new helmet. It's a Simpson Speed Bandit. And I also got a tinted visor as well as a pinlock fog resistant lens for the helmet. So in this video, we're gonna go over the pros and cons of this helmet. I'm gonna show you how to install the pin lock onto the visor and install the visor onto the helmet. And I'll get some ride time with the helmet before I give my full review on it. But let's set up the visor and let's take a closer look at this helmet. Very nice looking visor. Then we're gonna open up the pin lock. So pin lock technology has been around for a long time now. Uh, I believe it was the 70s and it just made it made its way over to the United States. All right, to install this, I saw a great video on how to do this from the company. So I'm gonna stand up. So you put your this part of the visor on your hip, straighten it out. So the logo itself is going to stick out. So I'm going to get it right there. Get the other one in. And then just let it curve. To take off the lens, you want to make sure the locking mechanism right here is down. And then right here, right, right there, you just pull down like that. Unlocks on that side. And on this side as well. Here. So. Boom. Ah. Gonna install this one. So I'm gonna press the locking mechanism again. And make sure it's snapped in. The other side, same thing. Locking mechanism. Get it lined up. Snapped in. Oh, there we go. doing a review on the Simpson Speed Bandit helmet. So, I've been riding with it for about two weeks now and the price point was I believe $279 which is relatively low for anything Simpson helmet wise. So I thought I'd give it a shot and see if I was a fan. So let's talk about a few of the cons to the bad. So the helmet, the inside of the helmet seems relatively cheap. So some of the fabric was flopped out and whatnot. Uh, as you saw in the box opening, uh, it left quite a bit to desire, in my opinion. But they, I believe they had to cut costs somewhere to bring the helmet down to the price that I got it at. And it's extremely windy. So I, I like to ride a good moderate 80 miles an hour down the freeway on the regular so the inside of the helmet gets extremely loud 
what I do to combat that is I wear Apple uh, Pros uh, earbuds and they have uh, the noise dampening so that way it keeps a lot of the sound out. Uh, right now I'm not wearing them so it is pretty loud in my helmet and I'm only going 60 miles an hour. There's no chin skirt which is a bummer so I plan on making one or trying to find one that I can purchase and then install that into the helmet. That will keep some of the wind noise out. But another thing I wasn't a fan of, none of the vents you can close them. So if you're a year-round rider like myself, you're going to be getting some cold air in your helmet in the winter. Overall, it, it, the inside of the helmet seems relatively cheap. Now to the pros. The good stuff. The stuff everybody wants to hear. This helmet is rather sexy. It's got that Simpson speed brow design. Uh, it looks really good. I got it in gloss black. Really shiny. Uh, it looks absolutely I'm a huge fan of the looks from the outside. But it's another pro is it's surprisingly comfortable considering how cheap the inside looks. And it, it fits really well. Uh, when I put my Apple Pro earbuds in, uh, not squishing my head. There's room for them. Uh, my left one has fallen out every single time I've taken my helmet off. But I, that, I guess that's what you get when you don't have a module or a half shell helmet. I also like the pin lock system. So the pin lock system has been around since the 70s. Mostly used overseas. And recently, the Finlock system has made it over to the United States and be garnered some popularity. Uh, the, the whole, honestly, the Finlock system is phenomenal. I don't know how it hasn't been a big deal until just recently. So, I ended up upgrading my visor to uh, the Ghost Bandit Smoke, I believe, and the view is absolutely amazing. Uh, another pro is the window of view. I, I could really see. So if you, you can see my, my GoPro, it looks like it may be a little bit in the way of my view. But it, honestly, it's not. So I can see right here. I can see that on the corner of my eye, no problem. And I, I, this is the best view from a helmet that I've ever owned. I've probably owned about 20 different helmets. Uh, this is the only uh, high-end brand helmet that I've owned to date. I plan on spending uh, my fair share of money on some quality helmets. But the Simpson is the first one that I'm trying. Uh, maybe next time, Shoei, or maybe the Simpson Ghost Bandit instead of the Speed Bandit. But hey, post down in the comments, let me know what helmet you guys recommend. The, the market is flush with great products. It's just deciding is the, the big trick. Thank you all for coming and checking out my channel. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Simpson Speed Bandit helmet. I'm definitely a fan of this helmet and 
If you guys like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you who support the channel, support me, support my brand. And as always, brothers and sisters, stay safe and ride your ride.